ensuring safe travel protocols for both visitors and residents requires close collaboration among sister agencies. Thermal screening and the gathering of contact and health information begins with employees at the airports. This information will be passed along to DOH employees who are tasked with monitoring and contact tracing in the event that COVID-19 appears in the community, adding another layer to the public health infrastructure we are building to protect our communities. The state is partnering with the University of Hawaii and the community to build our capacity and ability to effectively contact trace and obtain the information and, and excuse me and contain the spread of COVID-19. To provide us more insight into exactly what contact tracers do to protect our community and offer support to those who become sick, I had the opportunity to speak with Dr. Christine Koreshi, Associate Dean of UH Manoa's School of Nursing and Dental Hygiene in this next segment. Take it away, Olelo. My name is Chris Qureshi and I currently serve as the Associate Dean for Research and Global Health at the University of Hawaii at Manoa School of Nursing and Dental Hygiene. Thank you for your interest in this particular program. We have developed, in collaboration with the Department of Health, a contact tracing training program. When we put the program together and advertised it, it was so popular that currently we have 374 all highly well-qualified um, clinical health professionals. The basic curriculum is based upon Centers for Disease Control guidelines mm -hmm. as well as um, the Hawaii Department of Health protocol for contact tracing. So, um, so when the initial contact is made, the contact tracer um, calms the person down, does a lot of listening, mm -hmm. um, answers questions before they even dive into getting additional information. One of the first questions always asked is, so who was I exposed to? And it is never divulged. The contact tracer has to explain to the person that that's confidential information. They inform them that people who have been exposed are required to go into um, quarantine. And then the contact tracer um, talks to them about what would be any issues that the individual could foresee, which would prevent them from um, um, maintaining quarantine. And the most common things would be, what do I tell my employer? The DOH has a pre-developed um, letter that they can give to their employer. But they also um, um, probe about health issues. Um, and if they have no way to get their medication, the DOH makes arrangements to have the medication secured and delivered to the person in the home. The same with food. Mm -hmm. If the individual has um, social issues, they connect them with the appropriate social services that are needed. Um, and then the contact tracer discusses the living arrangements. Mm -hmm. It's you can't quarantine if you live in a house with five other people in a three-room apartment. If need be, DOH will make arrangements to have the exposed individual housed separate and quarantined in a single room at a particular facility where they again would be provided with the medications and the food and the support that they would need. Through this process, the first step is to develop a rapport with the person. The individual is then contacted daily to see how they're doing. The first question to ask is, how are you doing in quarantine? And it's that human connection um, we care about you, the DOH cares about you, the state of Hawaii cares about you. The individuals in quarantine are given a number, they can call the DOH at any time and they can speak to somebody, so they provide ongoing support. So really the contact tracer is a very involved in helping a person manage their life yes. during quarantine. Absolutely, yes. And there's a reason, there are multiple reasons to do that. One is it's the right way to treat human beings, and especially in the state of Hawaii, we really do care about people. Two, people are much more likely to comply with quarantine orders if they are provided that support and guidance. Mm -hmm. And three, if you catch their symptoms early, you can add, connect them with care, and they probably have better outcomes. So there's lots of benefits to this, so that if you do have um, an infected person the immune individuals serve as a ring and prevent them from um, getting outside the ring and coming in contact with people who are susceptible 
um, to the particular disease. The contact tracing program we developed, we developed it in modules so that it will become enduring because I think this investment is going to last for a very long time and will reap a lot of benefits. I want to say mahalo nui lawa to legislators such as yourself, but President Lasner, Amy Gray's, Dr. Park, Dean Bowling, because it's people like you that let people like me and Dr. Wong go ahead and um, develop, um, develop this.